The OMG officially adopted and published the Interaction Flow Modeling Language, IFML, version 1.0, in March 2015. IFML is a visual modeling language that is designed to express front-end applications content, interface composition, user interaction, and control behavior. It's a new standard aiming to make it easier to develop user interfaces of software applications. Dr. Richard Soley, as CEO and Chairman of OMG, how do you see the role of the user interface and user interaction in enterprise system development? Why should modeling have a role there? Well, first of all, user interface is what the user sees. Regardless of what's underneath, regardless of what the function is, user interface is the first thing and the only thing the user sees. We have focused on model-based systems engineering, model-driven architecture now for over 15 years and amazingly not focused on the one piece that the user sees first, that the user sees using that enterprise system. Uh, so the importance of integrating a model-driven solution across the range of user interfaces through to the implementation and runtime system through to the service is critically important and it's about time we did this. You know, we're very proud of the specification. Marco Brambilla is one of the main authors of the new IFML standard. Marco, can you tell us something more about the language? Sure. Well, IFML is a modern language that is meant to be a tool for people to design visually the user interaction and the behavior of people when they interact with software systems. IFML covers basically the description of the content of the interface in terms of what you see on the screen and also the behavior that people can apply over it in terms of events that can trigger on the interface and what these events leads to in terms of target results of the interface status. User interfaces are not going to be the only part of a system though. Can user interface modeling be integrated within a larger modeling perspective? In fact, user interface modeling has to be integrated into a larger uh, systems development perspective. And in fact, as I mentioned before, it's the piece that has been missing. Already people build large systems uh, using a model-driven approach and actually service those systems and integrate those systems with other systems into systems of systems using a model-driven approach. So it's critically important to be able to be model-driven all the way from the user interface through to the implementation, through to service uh, and support of that, of that enterprise system. IFML is not meant to be a standalone specification then. How can it be integrated with other specifications? Well, IFML has been designed actually natively to be extended and integrated with ad additional modeling perspectives. For instance, you can integrate it with the BPMN for describing the business part of your system and then go down from the business to the user interface and then to the system design. On the other side, you can also integrate it with content described in the user interfaces by binding the user interaction with the data storage layer. So you describe the data that are shown on the user interface through, for instance, class diagrams in UML. And finally, you can also bind it to the behavior of the system by connecting to the business logics. So there, what you do is you connect the user interface with the backend logic that performs the actual calculations and behavior of the system and returns the data that are shown in the user interface. Emmanuel Maltini from WebRatio has a wide experience in model-driven specification of enterprise software and has put IFML to use in large projects. Emmanuel, can you tell us something about how IFML has been implemented in real-world scenarios? Sure. IFML is currently used in different market industries, from retail to finance, from utilities to transportation, and is used to build web and mobile applications. This is also done thanks to WebRatio, a model-driven development tool that allows you to use IFML to define your web and mobile application and then takes care of the generation of the code of your, of your, of your final application. Uh, currently, IFML and WebRatio are used in, by more than 250 customers in more than 40 countries around the world to build their web and mobile application. Emmanuel, what is, in your opinion, one of the most successful cases in which IFML and the model-driven development have been applied, and what are the benefits the customer has been able to achieve? I think that the best story to tell about the usage of IFML and WebRatio here is here in the United States. 
one big company in the fleet management service business that is part of the Fortune 10 companies worldwide uh, was facing a lot of challenges for their development. In particular, they were facing long time to market for their solution. They were facing a high cost of ownership of the software and a big variability. Uh, they have used WebRatio and IFML to completely redefine their customer facing application in an ambitious six month project in which they decided to rebuild everything from scratch and they decided to um, adopt this new approach, the model driven approach and the IFML approach to um, solve all the challenges they were facing and this allowed them to um, reduce the development time up to the 70%, allowed them to move the focus from the code to the requirement definition of tech to the usage of IFML and allow them to uh, increase the quality of the software and to uh, build a set of reusable patterns and components across all their projects. The application is today is used by more than 150,000 users each day and has allowed the, the, this company to uh, fulfill all the needs that their customers were asking for. That's very impressive. Thank you very much for your time, Marco Brambilla, Emmanuel Maltini, and Dr. Soli. Thank you very much. Thank you.